Well, it's uh, time to give this mid-2011 iMac a bit of a birthday. Um, it's a bit slow to boot up and uh, the technology is a bit old now with the <coughs> mechanical hard drive. So we thought we'd put a solid state hard drive in it. Going to be using this uh, crucial 1000 gigabyte hard drive. It's a MX500 2.5 inch SSD. Here's the other components necessary, the, the leads and the tool kit, uh, the suction cups to get the screen off and the, the microfiber to wipe it. Anyway, we'll proceed and see how we go. I'll just show you how what it's like as far as um, booting up is concerned. Here we go now. As you can see, it's not fast. This is on the standard hard drive that came with the computer. There you go, login screen, and I believe that's fully booted up now, I'll just show you what, what it is. It's got uh, High Sierra on it, 20, iMac 25.5 inch. It's got a 2.5 gigahertz Intel Core i5 um, processor, memory four gigabyte. I'm not gonna upgrade that. <clears throat> it's all pretty standard. And uh, just give you some other specs. There it is, uh, an iMac 12.1. And that's what it is at the moment. Um, what other details we need off here? It's just got the standard hard drive. It's all, all stock standard. But it's about to get an SSD. So we'll see what it boots up like then. I could actually show you a... Uh, we go into here in the black magic and we'll see how it performs that's testing the disk speed not very impressive <clears throat> okay there it is you can see the numbers Actually, it stopped on a bad one. Let's see what the read speed is again. There we go. So when we come back, it should have an SSD in it and we'll see the difference. Well, <coughs> I have um, installed the SSD in the iMac mid 2011 model 12,1 and I thought I'd just show you the boot up speed now compared to the old um, mechanical hard drive here goes
There we are. You can see for yourself, a lot quicker. Um, I think it's worth the upgrade. Very happy with the way that's turned out. Um, I actually might go in and um, do some other testings and show you how fast it is on the uh, Black Magic to compare the hard drives because the old hard drive is still in there, it just doesn't have, have an operating system on it. There you go. I've recently installed a um, crucial SSD hard drive into this uh, computer just to speed it up a little bit. It's an older computer, 2011 model, 12,1 uh, and um, iMac. And I just thought, you know, let's, let's see how much faster it makes it. I've shown a couple of boot ups um, which I've recorded, but now I'm doing an on screen recording. So I just thought I'd show you in the app Black Magic. And just as to how much difference it makes, uh, it'll just show you the, the speeds, the read and write speeds. Here we go. Actually, what I'll do is I'll select the um, the old drive first because it uh, it will give you a better picture. This is the old drive. So here we go. You can see at the speed it's reading at. It's not particularly high. <laughs> And no wonder it was um, slow to boot up. But this is these are the figures we get. We'll stop that and now we'll choose the, uh, the solid state hard drive, which is here. Sorry. Select a folder and we'll start this one. As we can see, it's quite a bit faster. Um, not all that far off uh, 500 megabits a second. Right, and the read speed is over 500 megabits a second, so that's a drastic improvement, and of course, it makes a big difference to the boot up. Um, obviously, you're not booting up your computer every day, um, but it's, it makes a difference. You don't have to wait around, and it also means you can access your programs faster. It doesn't necessarily mean you get uh, faster operation in other areas, but it definitely means you can access your apps quicker and um, just load things up much faster. I could show you, I, I didn't do it before, but um, if I show you, for instance, Safari, how quick that opens up, there you go, that's fairly quick. Um, that, that's very satisfying. Um, what else do people use? Uh, here's the system preferences, just about instant. Before that, it was a much slower, so Anyway, I hope, hope that helps. And if you've got an older Mac and wanting to speed it up, I'd say this is the, the best way. You know, put a, I put a one terabyte um, uh, SSD in this and uh, it's much better.